Welcome back to another episode of Street Ride. Today I got something special for you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to add 10 horsepower to any vehicle using a hammer. I detect a presence. What do you mean a presence? I don't, I don't understand. Something draws near. I feel it. Huh? Bruh, I'm, I'm in the middle of a video. What could it possibly be now? Fool, you must prepare yourself for a challenge. V8 Twin Turbo. V8 Turbo? Challenge? What, what challenge? The time has come. Oh, no, the time can't come now. I'm about to show them how to make power. The hammer. Who, who shows you that? Ready yourself. A challenge draws near. You must prepare. <gasps> Go now. Oh, damn, 10 horsepower. Damn, Hammer. Freaking idiot. All right, welcome back to another video, Street Ride. This is Rick. Today we have a special guest, DJ. Don, Don, Don DJ. Either one. Don, all man. right, all right. It's <laughs> Don DJ Nod. This is Don. Um, give me your Instagram real quick before we get started. Instagram is Don the Rockstar. That's it. <laughs> very, very humble guy here, and he is driving the RS7 that creeped into my driveway today. Um, shook a little fear, put a little fear in me in the OS5, but you know. We have special things going on over yes. here, so it'd be yes. really interesting to see how these two cars compare. Interesting myself. <laughs> how long have you had your RS5, RS7? I'm sorry. It's been a year and a part about four months. Four, four months. A year and four months. Yep. Okay. And was it like a dream car? Or is it just definitely a dream car? Dream definitely car. Definitely something that I wasn't even expecting to get this soon. It just happened, and it was a great moment, and I love it to this day. Can't compare. I know. I've heard this thing start up and just completely lost it. Um, twin turbo V8, sir. 560 horses. 560, okay. Torque is a little. Well, I'll like put the five, torque on the screen. On I'll like put, I'll put yeah. all that on the screen so everybody you know. Okay. Um, so I, I, I met Dom around town and a uh, real cool guy. Uh, he went with me to try to get dyno, but unfortunately, if you see it on Instagram, I wasn't able to fit in the uh, on the dyno. I'll show a clip of that right now. But yeah, we're working on something. I'm, I'm talking to a couple of uh, dyno shops in Virginia and some in Maryland, trying to figure out what's the best option for us so we can finally figure out how much horsepower this tune is making on the old S5. So um, he has not driven my S5 yet. Um, he's we've, we've driven together, but we've never driven it. Um, I've never driven his car either, but I can say from the outside of his car, it's something about a twin turbo V8 that just makes me Ugh, I don't even know what to say. It's just your car sounds so sick. It's the V8, man. It's the V8. <laughs> Get you. So sick. I wanted an RS5, um, but you know things didn't line up, so I got my S5. But you know what? I don't really regret my purchase. I know I'm faster than the RS5 now, but you hey, know. But I don't lot. know if I'm RS7 speed yet. I, I don't know. I mean, I've kind of seen you kind of take off a little bit, that's and test. and the thing that I had, I had a lot more weight than you. you you're right. You're right. That's, but you, that's the big thing on this one. So it's. Weight. I, we might even have the same torque. We don't know. We don't know. I'll have to look at the torque, right. and I haven't been dyno. I can go off of 034's um, dyno numbers, but I like to get my own proof, right? Great. So I can't really say how much torque I have, you know. Okay. But it would be interesting to see these two cars go at it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you like to see these two cars, the RS7, oh, holy RS7, versus the humble S5? Would y'all like to see that? Please put a comment. In the um, comments, let me know how y'all feel about that. Y'all want to see it against 93 Octane? Y'all want to see it against E85? Let us know. We can make that happen. So, I think um, what we should do now 
is let's just kind of take a little tour around your car. I have okay. not really had any experience with RS7, so I would love to see. I haven't had any experience with any other Audi, but, but that, RS7. all right, this is gonna be perfect. So <laughs> let's let's trade vehicles, right? And uh, you tell me how you feel. I'll drive yours, you tell me how, I'll tell you how I feel. And we'll just call this video quick and short, and then the next video will be determined on y'all, what y'all feel, all right? All right, let's do this. Yeah, I got a wall for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talking runs. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart. I won't die, I'ma fight. I go down, bet I strike, I go hard. All right, first up, S5. You ready, Don? I'm ready. Let's do All right. This. I don't think I've ever been on the passenger side of my car with somebody that mean, that means to exactly really push to his limits. Let's see. Sounds good, man. So what, what kind of engine is this in here? This is the 3.0 single turbo. Um, stock, it's like 300 and, depending on the year, but it's, it's about 349 or 356. It just depends on what year. And uh, the torque is like, 370 something. I'll put the specs up. It doesn't matter now because what mode are we in? Right now we're in dynamic. But we start off with comfort. All right. Let's start so off with comfort. We like this the, button right here. Mm -hmm. I love this. Oh my God. Digital cockpit. Hands down, the interior in this already is just. It's better. It's better. Okay, okay. Well, let me let me let me hop in your car and really see if the interior makes that much of a difference when I'm roaring down the road in a V8 twin turbo. It says a lot. Let's go do this. <laughs> All right, bet. Let's do this. Another ship mode too. Let's put the new design on it. Just off the. So what do the D3 mean? All right, so I actually use uh, OBD11 and unlock the gear that we're in. Because normally it would just be a D there. Yeah. But basically, yeah, that D2 and D3 is what gear the transmission is in. And it's just something I unlocked with the um, OBD11. So it's normally stock, it wouldn't be there. It's not, I don't feel like it's tuned. Nope. That's one great thing about it. That's how I want to feel how it feels in comfort mode first. Because I have never driven a tune on Audi. Audi, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is, this will be a fun experience for me as well. <laughs> I just hope it impresses you since you are used to driving that. So that's what I want. So you go here and break noises, folks. Uh, I run, I'm running yellow, yellow stop, or I think it's called yellow stop or something like that. Anyway, the brakes make a lot of noise. They stop like really, really good, really good, but they make a lot of noise. Same with the RS7, so you're not same, same. Okay. Well, there, there you go, yeah. Unless you get ceramic coated, you're gonna get that squeak. Okay, so there. <laughs> it's embarrassing because you know you drive around in these high end cars and, and then you squeaking. Yeah, and make it look like oh this guy don't even take care of his little. Don't worry. In my head, I try to come up with every every possible scenario that I'm gonna have to argue with somebody about why my car stops like that and how they don't know anything about brakes. Yeah. <laughs> how many miles? Do you have? Uh, the miles is under 50, so it's 47k. Um, you have to change the screens to show the miles. Uh, so I'm at 60. So right okay. now they both driving pretty similar. Long to want to get out of comfort. I get it. It don't. <laughs> it's hard to keep driving in comfort mode with these type of cars. Yeah. So, so go ahead and you hit that same button on the steering wheel and hit it again. You don't even have to keep it. Oh, you keep it? Yeah, and it'll switch between them. That would be nice like this. Yep. Alright. Nice. That tone right there. I know. I don't get that. I don't get that on just such an easy pedal. Yeah. Well, that's that. That's that. Um, muffler delete that we have installed and I, I'll put links to the different things that we talk about if y'all want to check them out so they'll be like they'll be like up here one thing I did notice is it's not as torquey so it might 
might not be, but I haven't got on it yet. But just that low end. That low, yeah, I that, think you guys, you might have, you might have your torque coming. Up. I think my torque hits full at around 23, 24, okay. 100 RPMs. Um, so that might be what it, what it is. That's BMW. BMW has it on that point when it comes to the, the verbals. The, they do it more just constant. Now, the new RS7s. They do that. They do it a lot better. A lot better. Mm -hmm. and I think that's when, I don't know if there's verbal tunes out here that you can get, but that is definitely one of the best things about having this type of cars with these turbos, just having that verbal. A lot of these tunes now have, they do, they, they find ways to make you have a little bit more verbals. Mm -hmm. To me, it's not really natural, That's but it's, it's it's fine. I mean, it's just a sound. It's not like it makes your car fast. Did you notice a sound difference when you got your tune? Yes. So I noticed, so originally Z034's tune was so smooth, the burps and the pops were actually lower. It wasn't until I got the stage two, I noticed them louder. And when I got the um, pre muffler delete, it was even louder. It was SRT. Um, in front of us, but um, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. See, that's what happens when you're in these type of cars.
you can you, you can manually shift it, but as soon as it switches back to sport, it drops to seven, four, six. Definitely handles corners a lot better. Oh yeah. I mean, the R7 is still good, but this I can I can feel the difference. Mm. It's a little bit easier, and I think that's the lightness of it. I gotta take you around these turns, man. I gotta take you around these turns. You are, and I and I I appreciate the respect. I'm just saying, this car, these turns, these loops right here, I take them. At a speed I can't mention on camera. <laughs> definitely sounds way louder. I don't know if it's because my car is super insulated, but it is definitely. Oh, so you can't really hear your demo inside? We'll, we'll, we'll see. Is is outside your, your car. You have double layer glass? That would be a question for the Audi engineers. I mean, if you roll down the window, like uh, if you feel it, you can feel two glasses, that's, that's all it is. As if yours is double? You can feel that, the fact that it's two glasses. You have to when you buy this type of cars. I know, you need to know what you're getting into, especially if you're not going new. Mm. 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 That must be the downpipes, and it's so smooth to me. The only sport thing I got is the sport steering wheel, and this is a Canadian model. So I had to use the OBD-11 to convert some of the stuff up there to miles per hour. Which was kind of cool, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> I notice, you will notice in my R7, when you let off the brake, you can do a lot of that. Really? Yeah, it's real tricky. Uh, this is like a lot less, feels a little bit more subtle. Oh, tame. And that might be the difference between the S7, S5, or S5. Sure, I mean, if, if you're somebody with an RS5. I do know one. Really? Mm -hmm. With a, like, V9 or what do you same year. Same year? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna try to get him on I'm the track. I'm gonna hit him up. Alright. Oh, no. It'll be really interesting. I think he's shooting spot. Okay. Okay. So, sport mode. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Foot on brake, all the way down. Let it go at like 28. I've never been in this in this seat. The past, it's, the past, it's a lot different. Because you don't know what's happening. Yes. Golly. Okay. Yeah. That it's was a nice. A lot different. That was nice. Especially when you're in the back seat. Oh my god. <laughs> I hear it all the time. It's different. My wife getting in the back seat to R7. It's different. It's a lot different. Everything. I see why they be panicking in the back seat. Did you do this? No. Heck no. Ah. Not me. Street marks all over the place. They out here having fun at night. Is what I think. All right. We're gonna head back to the house and then. We're gonna hop in the RS7 and we're gonna do the same thing. Alright, this time there's two of them driving. <laughs> See how it go. Let's go. S5's owner driving the RS7. Oh. oh man, you got the black interior. Carbon fiber trim. Oh my, oh look at the shift pedals. I think mine's is just black and bland. Black? Still not bad. No, I mean, they're kind of the same. It's still like the little cheaper non Yaris things. Mm -hmm. I think they're not really like full metal, but no. they're kind of like Yeah, a, they got like a little look to it. I see you don't have the digital display, no. but still a nice display. It's a little old okay, in the mind. Yours comes out. <laughs> what? Your speakers pop out. Yeah, I missed that. Oh, oh my God. All right. Architecture headliner. Oh, oh, and remember this? Right, a little bit more. Soft clothes, who does that? And you got heads up display. Oh yeah, you can't probably won't pop on the camera. Boy. Yeah, let's see if we can get it on there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got it. Heads up display. That's, that's fully is. loaded. Uh, everything optional. This also does not have air suspension. This has the the DRC dynamic ride control. Okay, so, but, that's but thing. your car is stock though, right? Stock. Hundred percent stock. Hundred percent. Only thing I've done to it was a 
resonator delete and mid resonator delete with big spikes. Okay, so so that means if we did have a race, that it would be a stock yes. RS7 versus a tuned stage two um, S5. Yep. Hit the comments, guys. I mean, hit the comments. Just get them, and let's find out. Bro. I want to find out myself. Exactly. We want to do this video. All right. Have to teach me a little bit how we get into like comfort mode. It's in comfort mode. Oh, it's in comfort mode. Oh, that's, okay. Oh, right. Okay, I can already. I see what you mean. It's a little more. It's, 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 it's a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit more like. It's yeah, just, like you're gonna you're gonna feel the difference. Like it's more floaty. Okay. Yes. In dynamic mode, it's bouncy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's one thing about this is that it's real versatile. It's when you want it to be calm and tame, mm -hmm. it's calm and tame. But when you want it to be rough and rowdy, it can be rough and rowdy. <laughs> that's the one thing I love about the RS7. Bro, I'm so amp right now. Oh my god, I'm, I'm freaking. Oh my god, I feel like. Let's see what it's like. I feel like. <laughs> I think it's better than this. Why don't you get an R8, man? This is. True, true. Like this just has the yeah. space, the versatility. I can go, I can go grocery shopping in this. Right. And man, I done packed a good amount of stuff in that trunk. Well, that hatchback allows that to happen. It's just quiet now. Yeah, it is quiet. It's it's that, that's it's so that, you, I don't even hear the road. Like, no. no like, that's it's so quiet. No insulated glass, man. Yeah. That's good. Man. All right, so let's go ahead and switch me over. No? Ready? Switch me over. Yeah, I think Let so. me know if you notice the difference. The downshift the suspension is bouncier. You, that was not a lie. So the camera might be just yeah. You see the shaking now, right? Now, right. <laughs> like no, he wasn't bluffing. Like it's, this is this is legit happening right now. You feel everything. Yeah. I hear the yeah, but it is loud though. That's what you don't understand. When people are outside your car, it's, it's very. But inside the car is quiet. That might kill some people. And it does, because I, 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 it takes to just enjoy this. I, I, I wish it was allowed. Well, I mean, you drive with your windows down? Yeah, with the windows down, you can hear a lot more. Right, right, right. So right that's right. the thing about it. You hear a lot more. Black. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I'm not even pressing the gas. I can feel every last one of these. Bumps. Bumps. See, I don't have that. I just have. Oh, I hear the downshift too. Oh, it's growling. What's happening? Um. Shoot, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> supposed to race this? Oh my god. Oh. He ain't man. I think I just died and came back. Jesus Christ. And it just keeps pulling time. But you don't understand how loud your car is on the outside. I know that lady wants to cuss me out. Oh really? You think so? Yes, her window was down. Oh bad now. No, she wants to cuss me out. I need it louder. I want down pipes. Downpipes will so make it louder. Yeah, I, I don't know how I used to find out what it takes to make the exhaust or engine noise louder in the car. But you know what? Intake alone is going to make your engine the car too so. insulated. It's got to have yeah. the windows down. Y'all need to follow him on Instagram so y'all can follow his build. It, it will be 
will be coming. I'm saying, uh, if you want to do your build on this channel, oh, yeah. I don't got a problem with it. I'm going to come back to you. Don't worry. Yeah. We definitely going to see what this tuned R7 can do on the street bikes. <laughs> so stay tuned. It's coming. What do y'all think of this RS7? Yo, talk about it in the comments. It just wants to go. I know, it's all the time. That's, and that's the hard thing about having it in dynamic mode. It just wants to go. It's and it's, a, and it's, it's, it's hard not to give him what he wants. But in dynamic it's, mode in, in the S5, I can I can control coming. myself. You see what I'm saying? It's but like, in dynamic in this, it's just different. It's like, it's it legit. Like you, I understood why you pulled up in comfort mode now. Because if you were in dynamic, you probably would have ripped down my, my driveway. Yeah. It just yeah. burns gas. Yeah. Yeah, what do you get miles per gallon in here? Probably like 13, I think. I don't 13? I try not to pay attention to it. Oh, Jesus. That's it, huh? Okay. Yep. Yep. It's that first pull. God. Okay. <laughs> it's that pulls and pull. It just inks. It just goes. <laughs> Oh, oh my! All right, so y'all seen S5 launch? A tuned S5 launch? Y'all seen the RS7 uh, launch? What y'all think? What y'all think? From our facial expressions, from you know, what y'all think? Let us know. It's nice. Uh, Jesus, it's really like torn. It just wants to go. Bro, you gotta get this tuned. I know. You gotta too get crazy. this tuned. I got a, You got a TC, uh, TCS tune? Uh, Need that too. Oh, um, it, so with zero three four, you get the stage one. For, uh, with the uh, with the tunes, any of the tunes, so they're working on stage two and so on and so forth. So yeah, yeah. So do you have a transmission tune? Yeah, I have oh, a stage one, okay. so it removes the um, torque limiter oh, the, off. And that's right, that's right. You said rev limiter as well, right? It, well, the, that's why I think that's part of the engine tune, but oh, it removes okay. the um, torque limiter because our transmissions are limited at like 500 foot pounds of torque. Anything above that, the car basically says no, and it and it pulls the, the engine pulls timing or whatever it does to lower the power. So it's important to have a transmission tune to allow you to make more power. Okay. Yeah, so it's probably the same thing. This is an eight speed as well, right? Yeah. ZS yes. transmission? Mm -hmm. okay. Same, right. same transmission, okay. It may not the same one. You probably, your transmission is oh, probably rated for more power. Be, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True, yeah. That's true, that's true. I think mine's a ZF50 or something mm -hmm. like that. I do appreciate you letting me drive your car, I should say. Man, it's, it's a beast, bro. I, I super appreciate you. Coming through, checking out the channel, being on the channel. I appreciate it, bro. And he will be back. I will. Because so you guys see a lot of me. You want him back sooner? Hit the comments. Let's see if we're going to do this race or not. I'm just saying. This race will be interesting. Maybe you might want to go with E85. I'm thinking I need E85 to mess with this. I think E85 is required. But some people want to know if 90, how far 93 is away from us. So. Might give them, might but, give them but like they're saying now, E85 is starting to get more common. True, know, especially with Royal Farms. Yep. yep, yep. So, I mean, I think E85 would be a good comparison. 93 may not do it justice. So, we're pulling back up to the house and um, we'll go ahead and end this video when we get up there and then, you know, everything like that. All right, so there's the video at the S5 RS7 video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hit so, the comments. Let us know if you guys want to see. So I, I just remember they won't be able to hear us that well, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'll adjust the volume. Basically, the video is over. Um, hit the comments if you want to see these two these two cars go at it. Remember, this is Don. What's your Instagram again? You guys say it loud. Don the Rockstar. D O N T A P T the Rockstar. <laughs> and I'll put it down here so you'll see it and everything like that. But bro, thanks for coming by. Yes. Um, we will have them back. And everything like that. All right, peace. Yep. Till next time. We'll try to get an RS5 out here too. Oh yes, RS5. Y'all want to we'll bring see that, that right to this? Yeah, we got some things. I like that. Red I'm. Let's, let's do it. Red eye. Y'all want to see, wanna see, see me get murdered? Y'all want to see me get murdered? <laughs> Red eye. eye. No jokes. One hundred and ninety-seven. All right. Well, hey, look, I'm down for anything. Peace. You gotta chill. That's what my kids say. That's what my kids say. Daddy been paying bills. My pockets been dead. Get low, see what you thinking Orange label in my hand, guess what I'm drinking Ever since I dropped, I speed my lines